Well, good afternoon. This is Cooking with Dave, the Lutheran Cook. And I haven't done a video in a long time, so I figured I might as well do one today as I make up my famous Dave Sloppy Joe. It's a recipe based on my mother-in-law's recipe for Sloppy Joes that I got over 45 years ago from her. And I still use it. So let's get started. Let me show you the ingredients. They're very simple. We're going to start off with uh, one and a half pounds of ground chuck. And then here I've got a quarter of a sweet onion plus a little bit of leftover sweet onion, apple cider vinegar, mustard, and ketchup. One more thing I need is some sugar, so let me grab that, and then salt and pepper. I'll be right back because that's on the kitchen table over here. So let me find my salt and pepper. Okay, good. Here's my salt and pepper. So first of all, we're going to turn the burner on. I'm going to put it on about eight right now. I'm going to take my knife, cut open my ground chuck package here. There we go. And let's just break that apart as we put it into the um, Dutch oven here. So the Dutch oven will slowly heat up while this is going in there. One of my favorite recipes to make. Sloppy Joe, spaghetti, and just a host of others. If you'd like a copy of my cookbook, I have that online. I can send it by email to you. Uh, just um, send me an email asking for it at the end of this video. I will put up my uh, email address so you can send me an email, request my cookbook, and then you can get the cooking the famous day boy. Let me wash my hands here. Always want to wash your hands after touching raw meat. So, as this gets going now, as I said, I have it on eight. I'm going to chop up this onion. So, I just put that in the food processor here. Oh. There we go. Now it's all pulsed up, it's all chopped up, and ready to go in with the ground beef. There we go. Now I'll let that start browning up there. And I'm going to get out my measuring cup from here. And I'm going to just use this. Chop up the beef a little bit with it. It also mixes in the onion as I do this. And now we'll let that fry up a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. Let me get out my... There we go. I wish we had the cupboards we had in Michigan because those closed very quietly and did not slam at all. But here in Bowling Green, they slam. i got to remember to close them quietly when I do this. Okay, so while that's going now, I have one and a half pounds of ground beef, so I want one and a half cups of ketchup. Equal amount of ketchup to the ground beef. Pounds and cups. Cups and pounds. So I'll just squirt it out of here. Let's see, what do I have here? Oh, I got about one and three fourths cups, so that's good. Next, we enjoy spicy brown mustard in our sloppy joe. So I'm going to put in the Goulden's spicy brown mustard, and I'm going to put in two tablespoons, and I just kind of guess that too as to what two tablespoons will be. That looks pretty good. Then, apple cider vinegar. This is what it makes taste like barbecue. Yes siree. So, I just pour in a little bit of this. I watch for it to go around the dish and then a little bit more. There we go. Alright, now this is ready. Now I want to get a one cup measure. Nope. Not one cup, one tablespoon measure here, because that's how much um, sugar I'll put in. I'll put in 
Uh, one and a half, two tablespoons. So let me go through and chop this up a little bit more as it's drying. Okay. So that's smelling good with that onion and that beef. Now, draining the grease out of a pan like this. Sometimes it's going to be a real challenge, but here's an easy way to do it. I pull out my colander and this pot, pot here. Put them together. I'm going to dump the whole mixture in here, drain out the grease, then put it back in my Dutch oven. Now, how do you get rid of the grease? We store it in a can in the refrigerator. Pour it in. When it becomes solid, the can's full, we toss it in the garbage. Easy way to get rid of the beef. Now let me put my onion away here. Oh, here's the other bag. We always double bag our onion. That way it keeps the onion aroma from affecting the other foods taste-wise. Squeeze out all the air. There you go. That's good. Now, let me clean up my garbage here. Here's the rest of that onion. I'm going to put it in a different bag. So, I'm going to grab the bags here. As I said, we double up the onion in bags, so I'm first going to put it in here. Go together most of the way, squeeze out the air, there we go. Grab my other bag, double it up, zip it together most of the way, squeeze the air out of that one, there you go. It's all doubled up, here's this one. Off in the refrigerator it goes. Okay, that went into our vegetable drawer. Well, this is really looking good. A little bit more and then I will drain it off in my contraption here. Really an easy way to drain ground beef. And to get all that grease out of it. Because, as you know, that grease affects your heart. It blocks up your arteries. It can give you a heart attack. We don't want a heart attack now, do we? I know we all want to go and see the Lord soon, but not due to a self-inflicted heart attack. No, 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 no. Okay, almost got it ready here. I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. There's still some red meat in here. Not cooked all the way, but that's all right. Okay, so now grab this, dump all of this in there. I usually have a teapot that I would put on that hot burner, uh, but we had the counters clean. We cleaned the counters in the kitchen here and got everything off of them. Got everything off the stove, so I don't have that. Okay, so I just kind of smash it down, get all that grease out of there. I'm going to dump it back into my pan now. Put this on the burner. Now while it's on the burner here, before I put in everything else, salt. Do salt the taste. So I just kind of sprinkle it across and then around a little bit. Pepper, same thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. So five shakes of the pepper shaker. Alright, uh, you can hear that frying up. Let's mix that salt and pepper in there. Now we want to put in the sugar. I'm diabetic, I usually use um fake sugar, but I'm too lazy to pull that out of the cabinet. 
So about one and a half of the sugar. Now we're just going to let this cook up a little bit, get rid of the rest of that red that's in there. It's almost done. Okay. So now, let me put this in my sink. And I'm going to drain off the grease here so you can see. And I'll just drain it right out, put it into the can. Now you don't want to grab the can up here because that's going to be hot, so grab it down where you have the stuff already. So it's cooled, it's already chilled, put it in the refrigerator so it will solidify. Now that we've done that, now we can put this in. So this is one and a half cups of ketchup, two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard, and some apple cider vinegar. The recipe is in my cookbook, so if you want to see exact amounts, you can look in my cookbook. But I very seldom cook with exact amounts, I always go with what looks good. Okay, so now we're going to stir that all together. And we're going to let it heat a little bit. We get all the onion off the side here, down into the dish. We don't want to lose the goodness of that onion. Excuse me a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. But when you got to sneeze, you got to sneeze. Okay, so now this is starting to cook. Let me just show you what it looks like if I can tilt it toward the camera a little bit. Okay, there we go. You can see it there. There's how the sloppy joe looks. Alright, so. We'll serve it on hamburger bun. Now, let me turn this down to between low and one. And... You always got to taste what you cook. So, let's get a little sample here. Here we go. There's my sample. Cool it off a little bit. Mmm, perfect. Mmm. Now, if I was cooking for a group of people instead of just my wife and myself, I wouldn't do this. But. I'm going to go back for another. I'm going to double dip because this is so good. There we go. Perfect. Mm. So you want a quick easy meal for your family? Sloppy Joe's the way to go. No, I don't want to have this cook away too much. So. I'm going to grab my lid, put my lid on it, and let it just simmer there. So, this is Cooking with Dave, the Lutheran cook, making Sloppy Joes from my mother-in-law's recipe. So with that, I bid you a farewell. May God bless you and your family. Have a great day. Goodbye.